<clears throat> Welcome back to Campus View. We just talked football. Now we're going to discuss entertainment. We have three new guests. Start with you. Um, I'm Taylor Massey. I'm Nathan Wilson. I'm Taylor Wilkinson. Taylor, we'll start with you. Wilkinson on the end here. Um, <laughs> it's two Taylors. <laughs> uh, any movies you're looking forward to coming out? Um, there's a new movie coming out, Venom, that mm -hmm. I'm excited for. You know, we're always talking about Spider-Man, and now it's, you know, the pro antagonist. <laughs> That's it, yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, pretty excited about the movie coming out, First Man. That looks very good, the Neil Armstrong biopic okay. from the director of La La Land. Great movie. Really, like, honestly, in my opinion, there's not a lot of movies that come out coming out this fall that look good. Like, that's the only one that interests me. So Most of the blockbusters wait until the summer anyway. But Yeah, but, like, even the blockbusters, like, no offense, but I don't think Venom looks that good. Oh. I, that's well, just, no, that's my thing. I went out to thing. dinner with a guy. I went to um, Benny Hanna's, and he was an actor in the movie, and he was like, oh. I'm in Venom, and I was like, you're like, but... Okay. Cool. <laughs> so I was like, no, nah, I have you have, you have the inside scoop. I mean, I Tom Hardy's in it, so it has to be at least okay. Yeah. Great actor. Um, other Taylor. <laughs> Thanks. Um, oh, you're the other Taylor. I know. <laughs> I'm looking forward to um, Night School. Okay. Because I just haven't seen it. Oh, and with Kevin Hart? Yeah, with Kevin Hart. And what's her name? Um, Tiffany Haddish. Yeah, Tiffany Haddish. It's, I feel like they're pushing to be funny, though. Like, I, I love them to, like, I love both of them. Yeah, but I feel like they're, like... That's why I want to watch it, because I love both of them, and I want to see how they interact. I do agree, like, it could possibly, like, be, be bad. Corny. And you'd be, yeah. like, too much. But I just want to see how they play off of each other. So you mentioned one of the movies I was going to bring up. Um, have you guys heard of A Star is Born? Bradley Cooper, Lady Gaga, it's coming out? Yeah, yeah. I saw that. I don't know what it's really about, but I did see that Lady, Lady Gaga was going to be in the movie. I actually learned this thing, like, Bradley Cooper found out that he's actually good at music and wants to continue into it a little bit. Really? Like, not, I don't know, like, how serious, but he realized, oh, hey, I now know how to play the guitar, and I'm kind of like it. <laughs> um, one other movie I know that's going to be probably outsell all of them is Halloween. We're, do, we're doing another Halloween movie, October 19th, yeah. right before the actual Halloween, obviously the 31st. Uh, you guys interested maybe in seeing that? You guys like horror movies? I love horror yeah. movies. I'm not, not <laughs> I so love nice. horror movies. Not, not like, a we'll big start horror. with Taylor. Let's we'll start. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're... <laughs> it's more I love other Taylor. Yeah, I know, we're looking Taylor Wilkinson. <laughs> um, basically, I do like horror movies when I'm like, you know, it's fun to watch when you're with a guy and you're just like together and you know, watch a movie. But other than that, no, I do not like watching it alone. So I will have nightmares. You know, I will wake up in the middle of the night. But other than that, but I do think that they should do it with Freddy Krueger and like you know, you, you see that picture on Instagram. It's like the three of the three of them. I forget the last one. I don't think I have seen that. Oh, sure. oh yeah. they should make a movie. You know what I'm talking about? Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> what? No one knows what I'm talking about. What? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Never mind. Anyways, <laughs> my band. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not a big horror movie guy, whether I'm with a romantic interest or not, so. <laughs> I love horror Taylor movies. Taylor Massey, there you go. Oh, sorry. No, yeah. go ahead. I, was like, I, I love horror movies. I'm going to go see it. I probably go, I normally go with a bunch of friends. It's sad face, I don't have a guy to go see it with, but. <laughs> I'll go with you. <laughs> we just made friends on the show. <laughs> That's what the show does, it brings people together. <laughs> okay, let's talk about TV shows now. Um, I'm assuming, safe to assume that you guys all have access or have a Netflix account. Mm -hmm. I think pretty much everyone right. does. Anything that's coming out or anything that you've seen recently that's, you're nodding your head yes, Taylor? Mm -hmm. Crazy yeah. Anatomy. Okay. This is coming out. Um, very excited. That show's still going? Yeah. yeah. And it gets better and better. Wow. That's how you know you're a great actress. Okay. okay? Better and better. So, I'm for it. What season? And I can't wait. I think it's 15. I know. I was like, I knew it was like, they at least had like a 13, but I didn't know if this was 14 or 15. Anybody have anything else other than Grey's Anatomy? Uh, so my favorite show on Netflix right now has to be Lucha Underground. It's a <laughs> Mexican professional wrestling show. Very entertaining. Anything can happen on Lucha <laughs> Underground. A uh, lot of colorful characters on there. You got Chavo Guerrero. You got La Mascarita Sagrada. Mil Muertes. Pimpinella Escarlita. Big Rick. So, just a great cast. <laughs> Highly recommend it. Taylor, are you a fan of that show as well? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking. What show is this? Lucha Underground. How did you find this? I, yeah. my friend, who's really into that's that's professional a real question. Yeah. yeah, like where did you find? I have this? a friend because like growing up, I wasn't into pro wrestling, but like my friend was, and like he like got me into it last year, and so I'm a fan now. 
I'm a convert. Fair enough. Uh, Taylor? Um, it's been out, I think it's going to start its third season soon, but I haven't watched it yet, and I'm, looking, I'm about to start watching uh, The Good Place that has Kristen Bell in it. Okay. Just because I like Kristen Bell, and I've heard good things from it. Kind of just like, it's kind of like, like funny and yet also philosophical, kind of. I don't know. But yeah. You like a hypnosis of it for anyone who doesn't know what it's about? Um, so basically, Kristen's Bell, Kristen Bell's character is like a horrible person in real life. And it starts off with her dying and going to the good place. But she doesn't know why she's there. It turns out they have mistaken her with someone else who has done good throughout their life. And she's like, oh crap, I am not meant to be here. Mm -hmm. And it's hers, it's basically kind of like following her, figuring out, all right, why was I sent here? What happened to the real person? Like, how do I fix this? Interesting, so you guys all kind of plug, not to plug my own show here, but uh, have you guys <laughs> talked about, or have you guys heard of Maniac? It's a brand new show on Netflix, yeah. Jonah Hill and Emma Stone. Yeah. Highly recommend that. It? Yeah, what's that? Did you already start it? I've already started it, yeah. I've not finished it yet, but. So I was trying to avoid spoilers, but uh, any other movies or TV shows coming out you guys are looking forward to? Mm -hmm. Maybe any fall? I know American Horror Story, new season just started. You guys watch that? No, my roommate does. And she goes to the um, showings at Gateway. Okay. All the time she gets there like super early because they sell out a lot. And she's like, I have to be there. I have to watch it on the big screen in my like reclined chair. So yeah. And I know there's viewing parties in certain dorms. What is the number one show to binge watch, would you say? Taylor, we'll start with you on this end. Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy. I should have. <laughs> well, don't, because don't something say... always happens in Grey's. It's, like, also realistic, and it's also, like, it's really sad. Like, when, in one of the episodes, like, a shooter came in, mm -hmm. and a lot of people died, and it was, like, really sad. It was, like, really li realistic in our day and age right now. Cause yeah. It happens too often. So I was, like, this is really crazy, because this really happens in real life. All the time. How many seasons of that show are there? I feel like that's the fifteen. Only. Fifteen. Say something other than Lucha Underground. Okay. <laughs> uh, another show that I like on Netflix is Arrested Development. Okay. Uh, oh, very man. funny show. Builds a lot. Like the jokes, like build upon each other, so it's good to watch it like all at once. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I'd say a good one to like get a bunch of people to binge watch is Friends, just because like everyone has kind of like knows about it and knows, and you could start from anywhere and everyone will just like jump right in and just be laughing the whole episode. I know a lot of people that watch that show. That and Seinfeld both are like two like super popular mm -hmm. sitcoms. Um, speaking of sitcoms, you guys watch any sitcoms at all? Taylor? No? I mean, I already said Arrested Development. Arrested Development? No. Yeah. No. That's all I got. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, have you guys watched Ozark by any chance? Jason Bateman also on I Netflix? I started it. Started it's it? It's like too dark. Like, like funny, happy shows. Like, that's just too dark. Oh, that one's very dark. It's like straight in, like, I'm talking about the lighting, too, of the show. It's oh, yeah. Literally dark. The second season is much worse. If you've gotten season two, it's really, it's really hard to like the first watch. season, people are like, doo-doo, die. I was like, yeah. we just started. <laughs> we just began. Uh, any iconic TV shows that you guys would recommend that you guys have watched a lot of, anything like that? You know, well, I know you just family, <laughs> Black Community, but Martin, Martin Lawrence. Okay. You know that show? Martin, that's a classic. I will always watch that. I could binge watch that. <laughs> uh, a really, like, underrated show that I feel like not enough people have seen is True Detective. Uh, it was an HBO series, and they're coming out with a third season in January. Really good show. And the guy who, uh, like, made Maniac, I know, directed the first season of True really? Detective. So, yeah. Really good show. It's well, also, it's, like, very dark, though. Like, it's, it's like, you're describing Ozark, like, people dying all the time. And yeah. It's, yeah. She also means literally, though, because Ozark is actually, like, okay. very dark. But anyway... <laughs> Uh, thank you guys for watching. That was the entertainment section on Campus View. So we'll be right back after this quick break.